Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the ASRock H370 Performance. Now for a short message. This video is made possible thanks to ASRock, makers of mainstream and enthusiast motherboards. Get yours now via the affiliated links in the description down below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for your attention, and enjoy the video. This motherboard features the uh, Intel uh, H370 chipset and is compatible with all of the Intel 8th generation core processors. It comes with the uh, Super Alloy, uh, Gaming Armor, Intel Gigabit LAN, Dual M.2 for your SSDs, uh, supports for the uh, Intel Optane memory as well, a uh, dual uh, USB 3.1 uh, Gen 2, uh, both the A type and the C type connector, and uh, of course, polychrome RGB. Um, and it comes with the uh, Creative Sound Blaster 5 support. We're going to be doing a quick unboxing and a test build and see how it performs against the Z370 and also the B360. So uh, let's crack in and uh, we'll see you later. So we have the unboxing of the uh, ASRock H370 performance. Let's see what's inside the box. Okay, so we have the I.O. panel, our driver's disc, SATA cables, there's two of them, and there's these uh, three M.2 screws for your SSDs, three of them installation guide and uh, instruction manual software setup guide and your usual ASRock postcard alright so we have the uh, ASRock H370 performance it's got this nice matte black finish on the PCB let's start with the uh, socket area here so this is the uh, LGA 1151 socket, suitable for all the Intel Core uh, i processors, the 8th generation Coffee Lake processors. There's uh, four DDR4 four DIMM slots, up to DDR4 2666. We have the uh, full-size ATX 24-pin power here, USB connectors, headers, and there's a nice heat uh, shield there for your chipset uh, which has RGB as well underneath and then there's six SATA ports right here and uh, M.2 connectors here and here for your SSDs notice the M.2 Wi-Fi so you can actually get a Wi-Fi module to go with that uh, moving on to the bottom here we have a load of connectors for your uh, USB and then there's the fan headers, RGB and so on. And uh, this is a nice shielding here for your audio. This is the uh, Creative Sound Blaster Cinema 5 audio. And then uh, the PCIe slots here. There's two 16 times PCIe slots. This one has the uh, PCIe steel slot shield in here. And there's one, two, three, four, four uh, one times PCIe slots. And then moving over to the I.O., we have uh, on the left here a USB 2, PS2 connector, 15 pin VGA, display port, and HDMI. And we have USB uh, 3. A gigabit LAN and the USB 3.1 Gen 2, the A type and the C type. Notice the holes here for your antennae. So, this is for your Wi Fi if you have the Wi Fi module, and there's the array of audio connectors right there. Heat shield here for your VRMs and MOSFETs, and it's got this nice RGB logo here that comes up just a slot here, and then your usual 8 pin power. So that's pretty much it. This is the uh, ASRock H370 performance. And uh, 
let's uh, put this in the test build and see how it goes. Let's begin. Here's another test build. This is the ASRock H370 performance. As you can see right here, it's all completed and ready to go. Let's power this up and see how it performs. During our tests, the ASRock H370 performance motherboard produced some pretty decent scores in all of our benchmarks, which include the PC Mark 10, Time Spy, and Firestrike. It falls slightly below the higher end Z370 motherboard, but definitely outperforms the B360. You can check out the full review on our website for more. The H370 chipset offers a maximum of up to 20 PCIe Express lanes as opposed to the 24 you'll find on the Z370. Still, that's more than the 12 you get on the lower end B360. To compensate, you do get built-in RAID support, optional integrated AC Wi-Fi and support for up to 14 USB ports. One of the things that makes the ASRock H370 performance stand out above the rest is the amount of features you'll get. Take for example the DigiPower with the 10 power phase design, support for DDR4 2066 or above, Intel Optane memory and uh, AMD CROD Crossfire. It also comes with Intel Gigabit LAN, dual M.2 slots, PCIe steel slot, USB 3.1 Gen 2, both the A type and the C type, uh, ASRock Polycom RGB as well as the Creator Sound Blaster Cinema 5 audio. Unfortunately, as per Intel specifications, the H370 chipset does not support overclocking. This is pretty evident because I couldn't find any options for uh, overclocking in the BIOS. However, it does support the Turbo Boost feature allowing me to run the uh, Core i7-87K up to 4.7GHz from the default uh, speed of uh, 3.7. In short, if you are not into overclocking, the ASRock H370 performance motherboard is a great all-rounder that offers very good performance excellent features at a price that's definitely worth considering. So that's it, this is the uh, H370 Performance Motherboard from ASRock. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, give us a like and leave a comment below. Don't forget you can actually purchase this item via the links in the description down below. And uh, of course don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.